What is going on YouTube fan? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm gonna go through SEO Minion, one of the best on-page SEO plugins that you can get completely for free in order to optimize both your on-page SEO and also do on-page SEO for your competitors so you can get ahead of them on the SERPs, right? And if you wait till the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a special trick that you can do with this plugin that is going to allow you to dominate your meta titles and your meta descriptions so make sure you stay to the end of this video and let's get right into it all right guys so you can see that the plugin that we're using as i mentioned earlier is seo minion right now this is a great tool to pretty much do everything you need for your on-page optimization right whether you're doing it for yourself or if you're doing you know competitor research it's a great tool to have you can easily, you know, get it installed up here and you just click on it and it's going to bring up everything you need. Right. So first, let's cover some of the main features. Right. So we can see here it says analyze on page SEO, check redirects, broken links, it has a SERP preview tool. You can even simulate, you know, multi location SERP, which I'll show you in a bit. And then we have the href flank checker. Um, which is also pretty convenient, right? And you can get it both in Chrome and Firefox, right? Very convenient tool. Um, like I said, it's free to get. So if you want to give it a try, I highly recommend you to get it, right? So let me go ahead and let me actually go in and let's do a search, right? So I already had something uh, that I was looking through. And no, this was not for myself. I was just looking for an example. Although some of the things that I found do you know could come in handy later on you know once after this coronavirus thing is over with um but anyways let's get right into it so let's say you know we wanted to check out the competition right because maybe we wanted to write you know an article about you know cheap liquor that gets you drunk so let's say you wanted to check out the competition so let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here Alright guys, so the first thing you would do, right, whether it's your own page or, you know, a competitor's page, is as long as you're on the page, all you have to do once you have it installed is you're going to go up here, just go ahead and open it up, right? And you're going to get several options in the drop down uh, menu. And the first thing, you know, we want to pay attention to is the analyze on page SEO. And this is going to give you pretty much the majority of the on-page factors that you need to take into consideration right um, one of the first things that it gives you is you know the url and it actually gives you how many words are on this article right so you can see it says 985 words so if we wanted to write an article you know you'd want to at least aim you know a right around the same but you know usually you want to write more than the competitors um, as long as you're providing value right so you can go ahead and take, you know, like the top five and, you know, average their word count out. So it kind of gives you a better idea of how many words you need to write. And then the next thing we want to take a look at, right, is the title. And this is, you know, the title tag. Very important when it comes to on page because it's the first thing that a user will see, you know, once they do a Google search. And you can see right here that they're actually going over the recommended character count. And what this is going to do is that Google's going to shorten this title and it's not going to show the whole thing, right? So you do want to make sure that you stay under the character count to make sure that your title tag doesn't get shortened, right? Next thing we have is the meta description, right? Now the meta description should be unique for every single page. And again, you do want to pay attention to the character count because it can also get shortened if, you know, you go over the limit, right? And another big thing to you know take into consideration with the meta description is that one you want to make it you know related to the article and then second you do want to make sure that you go ahead and write a meta description um, simply because if you don't write one then google's just going to pull a you know what it wants from the article and you know sometimes it may not be you know the best uh the best description that you'd want to to choose right because your description is really there to entice you know a possible visitor to want to click on your listing right so you usually want to include a you know call to action here at the end just to make them you know want to want to click on your listing rather than a competitor next thing we have is the canonical and what this is pretty much just doing is let's say you have two pages that are you know about the same content and if you have a canonical tag 
you know, you usually want to put it on whatever you want, to, which of the two you want to rank for, right? You don't want to confuse Google. So you just put a canonical tag on the correct one. Um, but you know, for this, for this particular purpose, um, you know, it doesn't look like they have any other, you know, related pages, right? And then it just lets you know about the metal robots, you know, it says index and follow, which is what you usually want to see. And then we come to the headers, right? The header one, header two, the header three, and so forth. And you have two options, right? One, you can sort by the type or you can do no sorting, right? So let's go ahead and press show all headings. And what this is going to do, it's going to bring up all the headers that they have on this page. And if you sort it, it just means it's going to put it in chronological order, right? For this particular example, it looks like they only have H1, H2, and H6. Um, so they don't really have any H3s, H4s, and H5s, right? Um, so it's good that they have, you know, one H1. It's usually what you want to see. Um, it's usually should be related to the title. Um, so it looks like it might be related. And then we have a whole bunch of H2s, right? And then two H6s. So if you're going to write an article, you know, you'd want to take into consideration of the pages that are ranking on the first page. You want to take into consideration how many H1s do they have, how many H2s do they have, and so forth. And the same thing, such as the word count, you want to, you know, add them all up and then average it out to give you, you know, an estimated average of how many header tags you need to include of each kind, right? So let's continue moving down. And then you can see here that gives you the image count and they only have one. Um, and then it also lets you know how many of the images do not have an alt text. Um, so you can see that, you know, their only picture doesn't have an alt tag. So what I would definitely do is if I were gonna write an article is I would include a bunch of images, you know, related to the content and make sure you have un a unique keyword in each of those uh, pictures as an alt text, right? Very important to take into consideration when you're doing, you know, a competitor analysis. And you can even download these if you would like. Um, but the last thing here is the open graph, which is kind of similar to above. It just, you know, gives you the URL, the title, and the description. Um, and then we have the Twitter graph. So this is, you know, how it would show up on social media, right? So you do want to make sure that this is good to go. So it, you know, pops up correctly on your social media. And that's pretty much it on the on-page SEO, guys. Um, it pretty much gives you everything you need to know right here, right, at the click of a button. But let's go into some of the other features, right? Another cool thing is that they have the highlight all text. You can see here that it's highlighting, you know, all the text, right? So let's go ahead and highlight all the external. And here, what it's doing, it's highlighting all the external links um, that they're outer linking to, right? So you can kind of get an idea of what websites and what anchor text they're using, right? So it looks like they're using, you know, exact exact match uh, to that type of alcohol, right? So you can see whiskey, if we scroll down, uh, they, you know, hyperlinked rum, and they hyperlinked the query, hyperlinked martinis, and so forth. And you know, they have quite a bit of, you know, external links going there so you do want to take into consideration of what anchor text they're using and the websites that they're outer linking to right and then you can also check their internal links if they have any so yeah you can check both internal and external here um, just to give you a better idea of how you could optimize your own you know internal and external strategy and it also gives you a follow and no follow option right just so you can check those out another thing that you can do is they offer the you know check broken links option this kind of gives you you know you could see valid links 404 links uh, no domain links empty links redirects server errors and unknown right uh, same thing here. If you scroll down, you can kind of see, you know, each of those links. You can kind of you'd filter these, you know, depending on which ones you want to see. Um, and let's say, you know, you wanted to do some, you know, broken link building, um, which is pretty difficult to do. But if you did want to, you know, check out certain articles that had broken links on them and then, you know, pitch them your own article, you could actually do it this way as well. Um, so it's just another handy thing to have. 
All right, let's go back. Then we have the HRA flank checker. This is pretty much if you have, you know, different uh, languages, they would use, you know, a tag on those specific languages, right? Next thing we have is a SERP preview. This is kind of like a live preview of what it will look like. So if we enter a target keyword here, let's just do best cheap uh, liquor. And then we can go down and let's preview it and it will actually bring up you know what it will look like with your title and your description right so you can kind of edit edit this now this won't actually edit it um it's just a preview of what, of what it will look like right um to actually edit it you would have to either use you know your ghost or rank math or whatever you're using to you know change the title tag and the description but it is handy if you just want to see what it would look like uh, very quickly right next thing we have is the serp location checker so this is kind of if you want to see, you know, a keyword in a particular country, um, you know, you have the United States here, but you have, you know, different countries that you could choose. So if we chose like the UK, you know, we could see the search in the UK, right, on this particular search term. Very handy if, you know, you're trying to target, you know, different different countries and whatnot so it could just give you you know a, a quick, quick analysis of how else you could optimize it for you know different countries and the last thing that i have for you guys on here is Vers the serp location checker uh the versus so it's pretty much uh it's pretty handy you could actually put in your keyword let's choose two different uh countries and it's going to give you two different serps right so let's see here so you can kind of see um, that there are some differences in the people also ask questions um, and you know you can see it is ranking different websites on here so you can kind of go through here you can see it has videos uh, on the UK side um, and on the US it doesn't so you can kind of see the differences in these SERPs um, if you were trying to target you know multiple countries right so very good way of comparing um, if you were doing, you know, like affiliate marketing or you were simply trying to rank in different countries, um, very quick way of, you know, analyzing other countries and how else you could optimize, you know, your actual content, right? So that's pretty much it on this, guys. Let me go ahead and show you the quick tip that I promise you guys. So if you have, you know, SEO Mania downloaded, put in whatever search term. And then we have this box right here. If you click on this, you know, one, you can download the people also ask questions. So you could, you know, ideally, if you click on the 10 clicks, if we go to go, it's going to download all the different questions, you know, that people or that Google, you know, would bring up. Right. So if you see this, right, look at all these different questions. So if you were to write, you know, a blog to something that you want to take into consideration right because first of all all these questions could be something that you could include in your article right so this is very handy whenever you know maybe you're stuck and you don't know what to write about you can just go in here download all the questions check them out and include them in your own article right very very cool trick but there's one more guys of course when you're writing your titles and your meta descriptions you always want to check out you know the first page to see what they're using in their title tags right let me go ahead and search for this again so you always want to take into consideration to see you know what words are they using what keywords are they using are they using numbers you know are they using you know the words best top and so forth um, so you always want to you know do a SERP analysis before writing your title tag right and one cool thing that you can do is you can download all organic results right so let's go ahead and click download and then it's gonna give us you know the top 10 websites that are ranking it's gonna give us their titles look at this it gives you the title and all their descriptions you can see some of them are missing it but what you want to do here is you want to analyze these titles, right? And you want to see what keywords continuously pop up, right? So we can see that a common keyword here is cheapest. You can see cheapest again up here. You can see cheap right here, cheap, cheap. Uh, so we can see that cheap and cheapest is a common, you know, 
word that continuously pops up on the top uh, 10 search results. And we also have the word drunk, right? Uh, looks like get drunk is another keyword that pops up, you know, very frequently here. So this is what you want to do, right? You want to analyze what's already working and put it in your own words, right? Make it better. As long as you include, you know, those same keywords that are con continuously popping up, right? It means Google's rewarding these, these articles because it means that Google, you know, believes that they're serving you know value and purpose for that specific search term right so that's pretty much all i have for you guys if you like this video make sure you leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next one peace